ra 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 Oh! If that doesn't get you in the Christmas spirit, I don't know what will. What's going on everybody? It's Toronto Guy here, here for another festive. That's right, festive edition of Toronto Guy Cooks. Today, we're not cooking, we're baking. We are going to be making something I've never made before and in a manner in which I've never made. I've made, well we're making uh, eggnog chocolate chip cookies. I love. What's the thing that the people do with their hand? Their this? Yeah, I that that eggnog love it, love it. Oh my god! Now when I say we're gonna be making it in a way I've never made before, the only way I've ever made cookies in the past is with that pre-made cookie dough shit where you just spoon it and who needs to bake it? Just eat it out of the package. Today, I got bowls, man. I got two bowls. I got the Freeman bowl and the clear as day bowl, plus a mixer. I'm going full blast, baby. Now this was a recipe sent to me by my younger sister. I am adding the chocolate to it, so I'm better than her. So we're gonna start with some dry ingredientes. Flour, how much? Look at the description, man. There we go, it's about two and a quarter cups or so. There we go, all right. To that we add uh, nutmeg, ground cinnamon, and baking powder. There we go. And to that we're adding my ingredient. I bought a Cadbury Dairy Milk chocolate bar and just ch chopped it up roughly and we're going to add that man. That's where it's going to get its chocolate chips man. All awesome. This is going to be awesome. If it doesn't turn out right, we'll just blame my sister. Yeah. All right, now we're going to just give it all a mix with our whisker, you know, our little whisker because these are very convenient to mix dry powdered ingredients for baking. Also to mix eggs and shit. Anyway, so let's give it a nice mix for a little bit. Ah, Christmas man. Tell you, man, one thing that I wanted for Christmas for like three years straight when I was a kid was a pedal powered go kart, which cost like a hundred bucks, but I never got it, man. My mom never got it for me, but what are you gonna do? But there was one year, I believe in 85, I got the Nintendo, and what a year that was. Oh, I got chocolate all over my hands. It looks like poo. You know what that means? If you don't make a mess, you're a failure. That's right. I'm not a failure. Let me wash this shit off. Did I say I am a failure? I'm not. You saw the mess. Well, now the mess is gone. Now I'm such a miserable failure. Oh, anyway, patreon.com slash Toronto guy. If you don't want to be a miserable failure like me, you'll go there and give me money, damn it, instead of mooching all the time. It's Christmas. Have a heart for crying out loud. All right, so that's nicely mixed. All right. Ah, to this, now in our Freeman bowl, we are going to add, let's add the butter first. This is about three quarter cup of salted butter. Oh. I can feel the heart at oh, you hear that? That is a heart attack just waiting to happen. Add some sugar. Here we go, a whole bunch of sugar. And we're gonna take our mixer. Now I did have a much better hand mixer than this, which had like, you saw, you see this thing right here, right here, the whisk, had like two of those attached to it, but I don't know where it is. I, I must have tossed it or something. So we're gonna use this thing and hope that it works. All right, what wanna do? Is when I take the butter and the, the the softened butter and the sugar, want to mix it up until it's creamed. So let's go that. Let's do that shit, baby. Yeah, patreoncom slash Toronto guy. <laughs> now I recommend not using one of these because it takes a lot longer than a proper one. But hey, we got it done. So let's uh, just scrape the excess off of this little thing. I should find find the proper hand mixer, man. Patreon.com slash Toronto guy, donate money, I won't have to find it. I could just buy another one if all of you awesome people who watch my cooking videos and everything just give me money, damn it. All right, come on, be cool. Just crying out loud. All right, so how's that? How's that? Is that good enough? Let's get as much as we can. Yeah, don't want to exclude anybody. We got to be inclusive, including when we bake. All right, don't want to be racist against the, the, the butter and the sugar people. All right, you know, there's people out there who identify as friggin' sticks of butter. You just know there are because they're, they're stupid people out there. All right, get that, we're gonna keep that. Now, we are going to add our eggnog, about half a cup. It's not much, but you know, man, I love egg, but I still got a big carton of it left, man. So, hey, what you gonna do? Oh, it's so creamy. I love egg, I love 
eggnog. My sisters, both of them, including the one who sent me this recipe, they hate eggnog. So if it doesn't come out, we'll just blame it on my sister hating eggnog and she trolled the hell out of me. All right, here we go. Oh, sorry, egg yolks as well. Two nice egg yolks, put it on in there. All right, here we go. Gonna get all over the friggin' thingamajiggy. And to this, one teaspoon of vanilla. All right, there we go. Oh, oh, I can smell the vanilla, man. Just punch me in the face like I fucked its mother or something. Holy shit. And we're gonna mix this all up nicely, baby. Ah, oh, look how smooth that is. Ah, oh, beautiful. All right. Now what we're going to do is we are going to gradually add the dry stuff. Don't want to add it all at once because it'll turn into one big ball of what the fuck is that shit, man? All right, may end up using the mixer, but for now, I mean, the, the instructions will say, use the mixer on the low setting. Well, this mixer only has two settings, fast and faster. So I'm gonna do it by hand, baby, by hand. So let me just put this aside, here we go. As we just gradually Add some dries, baby. A little bit at a time, there we go. All right. So what was your Christmas memories? I wanna know, leave it in the comments section. And like, hey, maybe I'll give it a like click, who knows? All right, here we go. Give that a mix up. Ah, here we go, that's nice, let's add more. There we go, oh yeah, love it. Give that a mix up. Oh, I can smell the nutmeg and the cinnamon. Ah, oh, look at the mess I'm making because I'm I'm not a failure. I love it. Ah, want to get it all nice and mixed, man. Don't want any powdered bits like scraping off or hanging out elsewhere, doing its own thing. Just get it in there, get it all friendly, making out. Oh, it's coming out nicely. There we go. Let's add the rest of it. All right, and let's blend it up, baby, or mix it up with our hand. Yeah, Patreon.com/slash Toronto Guy. Give me money. Oh, you know what? I know. Here. Feed Toronto guy, let him know you're, you want him to have an awesome Christmas. Go to his Patreon and give him money, otherwise you're an asshole. All right, let's continue mixing it up, baby. Patreon.com slash Toronto guy. While I'm mixing, go there, give me money, man. All right, that's big and thick. That's, that's cookie dough batter. Holy, maybe I should taste it. I mean, it's cookie dough. Let's give it a little taste real quick. Let's, uh, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I taste eggnog, chocolate, cinnamon. These are gonna be freaking great. Oh man, now, oh, that was really, really good. Oh man, all right, let's grab a sheet, man. Now I noticed on my sister's instructions that I just looked off and looked at the instructions that now it says bake them at 350. The beginning of the thing, it says, preheat the oven to 300. Well, that's what I've been doing. I get down to step six in your 350 degree oven. Blah, blah, blah. So I just raised it to like 325. So in the middle, like, come on, people, make up your minds. All right, give me a spoon. All right, here's a spoon. How big are we going to make our cookies, man? Now, the instructions say teaspoon. You know how big a teaspoon is? It's like this. You know what Toronto guy is? You're a man, Toronto guy? I'm a man. Here you go. Here's one cookie. All right. All right. Let's just put it on there on our pre-sprayed. These are going to be really big. Maybe I shouldn't make them that big. There we go. There we go. Probably not going to come. Well, she said to use a ice cream scoop. I guess so they'll come out nice and round. Who gives a shit? They're going to turn out as poo anyway in the end. And they're going to taste good. So who gives a shit? So let's just fill this thing up with some cookie. All right. So move that off to the side. There we go. All right. Okay, so that would be, mm, oh, one, two, three, four, seven, or ten. I have enough room for ten man-sized cookies. Probably should have spread them out a little more, but hey, we'll just go, we'll work around that. They attach themselves to each other, which I'm sure they will. We'll just do some experimenting. Look at all the cookie dough I still have left. You know what I should do with this? I should save it till tomorrow and make up 
big friggin cookie oh man but first let's make sure this comes out all right anyway oh that's really good damn maybe just eat it as is put it in the fridge let it get hardened and just have like refrigerated cookie dough chocolate chip eggnog balls oh my god eggnog balls how the fuck do you nog an egg anyway all right let's put this in the oven for about 23 to 25 minutes all right in our preheated oven here we go let's turn the light on so i can look every now and then set the time let's put it say 23 that's fine look at it all i still got left patreon.com slash toronto guy look at this cookie dough batter holy crap nuggets why did she send me such a big recipe i'm only one dude for crying out loud anyway we're gonna wait the 23 minutes or so and then we'll come back and we'll check them out uh right now oh holy night the stars are brightly shining till he appears and oh man I was just getting in the mood. All right, it's been 23 minutes. It smells eggnogorific in here. Oh my God, it smells great. Let's check on our cookies, baby. All right, ooh. Ah. Oh my God. Can't tell by the color. Well, oh, the golden brown on the sides and lovely on the top. They still feel soft, which is fine because I am a fan of chewy cookies. Now, I don't know if they still make Chewy Chip Ahoy's, but back in the day, man, oh, I would buy a whole bag of them and eat them all in like two days when I was a fat fuck. Oh, these look, these look like totally worth getting fat fuck again over. Hmm. Oh, they look good. But we're gonna let them cook, we're gonna let them cool for about, uh, ten or so minutes. <sighs> Can we just smell them first? Oh, smells like Christmas in, in November. We'll be back to check on them and taste one. Now this one's all retarded, so I guess we'll taste this one. The rest are fine. As I said, well, that's it. they're actually already starting to harden. So very good. We'll give it about five, ten minutes and we'll be back. Until then, go masturbate to Christmas porn. All right, so it's been about 15 minutes. Did you have enough time to, you know, or in the case of ladies, <laughs> cool. Now the instructions for my sister say that after this point, move the cookies to a wire rack and let cool completely, but I'm not my sister, I'm Toronto guy. I'm gonna taste one right now, just for the hell of it. He's gonna taste this, this messed up one. Let's give it a try. First, let's open it up. Ah, chewy, cooked inside. You see the chocolate chips in there all over the place? Let's, well, not all over the place, but yeah, shut up, anyway. Mm. No. Mmm. Mmm. Oh, wow. Eggnog. Some cinnamon. Mmm. That's how it smells. Mmm. You see they're crunchy on the edges, and then they're soft in the middle, man. They're awesome. Oh. Don't eat too much of them, man. They're full of sugar, and they'll fill you up and fuck you up. All right, now. Now what we're going to do... It's just for artsy fartsiness, we're going to take some nutmeg and just sprinkle a little here and there all over each cookie, baby. Just to add some extra uh, diversity. <laughs> there we go. Try not to do it in one big clump like that one. Just try to like spread out the love, man. The nutmeg love, man. All right. Patreon.com slash Toronto guy. Don't know when this is uploaded. I wonder if Christmas is on a Wednesday this year. If it is, man, holy crow. Toronto Guy Cooks episode will be uploaded on Christmas? Well, I guess we'll see, won't we? Anyway. Oh, that was good, man. Okay, now we're gonna put our cookies on this fancy schmancy plate. I want the best looking one to be in front in the front of the picture. So let's take you, you're a midget, you're a midget too. Let's just put them on top anywhere. Or just try to arrange them in some kind of order. There we go. I'm gonna shake this a bit to let the nutmeg spread like wildfire. There we go. We'll save uh, that one. 
There we go. That one will be the leader of the pack, right? There. Uh, let's put that there. Uh, let's put uh, there we go. And, and we'll put and we'll put the leader. Uh, let's put the leader uh, right here. There we go. As usual, what I always say, lighting does no justice because people are cheap. That's right. <laughs> so I'm going to take a picture and insert it right here. And there you have it, kid. Kids. Well, kid. Only one people watch. Only one person watches these videos. Everyone who comments, they don't actually watch the videos. They just... They just humor me. Man. Anyway. <laughs> but there it is. Now the recipe will obviously make more than 10 as you saw how much freaking cookie dough I had left over. So there we have it. Patreon.com slash Toronto Guy. If this is uploaded, well, it's going to be uploaded before Christmas most likely. So I guess Merry Christmas. And if you're one of those people who are like, I say Happy Holidays because I don't want to offend anybody. Well, wish those people a Merry Christmas for me as well. Patreon.com slash Toronto Guy. Eggnog chocolate chip cookies. You saw how they were done. And it worked. We'll see you next time. Have a lovely snowy day.